Yeah, yeah, this is how we do it in the Central Coast, man. We got 40 ounces, old English, rag tops, six foreign collars, and bikini girls, man. This is how we do it on the West Coast. San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles. But don't forget about the Central Cali, man. Please don't forget about the Central Cali. Yeah, get them. It's another sunny day in the state of California. The water palm trees and cheese that put it on ya. This ain't a negative, we speak in ebonics. Rag talk can be beat on these with hydraulics. Yeah, yeah. Baseball hat with the sticker on the brim. Don't let the shine blind your sight, cause things can get grim. But I'm not here to talk about banana clips and guns. We're going back to Cali and we're gonna have some fun. A West Coast domination. And welcome back to Two Face Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Fred Segura. Out here in Monterey County, also known to the world as the Salad Bowl, also known as the Salinas Valley. To the people in L.A., we are north. To the people in San Francisco, we are south. Right smack in the middle, best of both worlds. Don't forget about the Central Kelly. Anyway, folks, today we are going to talk about what just happened this past uh, week or so. Uh, Father's Day. Right. I hope everybody had a good one, man. Um, you know what? It's a it's a blessing and a, and a an honor and a privilege to be a father, right? Of course, uh, not all men can say the same, right? Hey, it is what it is, right? But hey, you know what? Again, like as always, I'm not here to to to, to bash any anybody, or maybe sometimes I am. Hey, so what? You know. No, anyways. Um. So so um. Here's my thing, guys. Um, I have a friend who was in a situation in his relationship, and um, his uh, brother-in-law decided to give him a call and, or, or a text or whatever it was. I forget what it was. But uh, he started kind of, you know, telling telling him he was a loser in a, in a, in a small sense. It, it wasn't exactly in those words, but little by little, gradually he kept, you know, hey, you know what, you have not uh, uh, been a man. You've had your chance and, you know, give up already. And, you know, my uh, sister's coming back home with me, yada, 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 or with whatever the situation is, right? Um... To which I, I'm not going to say his name because I do know him, but in the sense of being that, uh, that I know of, this guy took in uh, his brother-in-law's children when his brother-in-law was out doing whatever he was doing. I'm not going to get into that, but let's just say it wasn't good. Right. So therefore, years later... I say, how, you know, how can you tell somebody that, man, after that kind of situation, you know? Not to say that, you know, he owes them for that matter. I mean, if you do something, you do it out of the kindness of your heart, of your heart you don't expect to be paid back, right? Or, or anything in return for that matter. But in the sense of, let's just say, um, in my friend's sake, as well as my, my morals too as well, we, you know, as men, we value our, our family. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It's not perfect at all. It's not perfect at all. Does it have its uh, its flaws? Very much so, just like anybody else's, right? But to just throw in the towel and be like, oh, because somebody else is trying to dictate your family that you've put the time into on top of helping their family on top of that. You know what I mean? So I think that's pretty unfair. And, and, and not only that, I mean, it didn't come into play that there's children involved, be it that, you know, there's kids involved. And at the end of the day, um, he, 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 nor I would walk out, you know, but that didn't sound right. But I mean, as much as my, I say because his values are just like mine, he's not going to walk out on his children. Unlike the people that 
you know, that he that his brother-in-law that he helped out that walked out on his kids for doing whatever they were doing. I'm not going to bash him for that. I'm not going to blame him for that. But yet, at the same time, um, I think it's I think it's wrong. I think it's 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 very wrong for 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 it, it, not just wrong. It's it's easy for somebody to say, "Hey, you know what? Hey, bro, that's it. Time out. That's it. Done. Yeah, hey, your time's up. Hey, check it out. Uh, you know, it's game over. You know, it, it's not a game. And it's easy for somebody like that to take a uh, to not consider kids when you know they themselves walked under the kid walked out under the kids. You know. Um, it, it, there, there's a lot of values. There's a lot of. I'm not saying that you know, I'm I'm a catch and and all this other stuff. You know, I'm. I'm just saying we value our family. Again, we have our ups, we have our downs. We go through whatever we have to go through. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we still provide for the family. You know, as men, okay, I know right now it's a whole different time. People want to eliminate a lot of stuff. <sighs> Granted, there's women that do the same thing, you know what I mean, that, that, that provide for their family. There's single mothers out there. But we are talking about Father's Day, so let us have our day, ladies, with all due respect. Okay, there's also a lot of men out there who, who have taken on the, the role of mother and father. I being one, you know, and not saying nothing bad about that. I'm just saying I being one. Okay. Um, you know, the, it's always like, hey, well, you know what? Look, the women, you know, have this and this. And I'm not going to get into that heavy or debate about that. I'm not being a male chauvinist about it, right? It's just the fact of the matter is that, there's as much females as there is men, you know, and and, and men meaning the men, I won't say men, male species and female species because either or will walk out of that relationship and leave the kids behind, right? That's not a man, in my opinion, or a woman, in my humble opinion, right? Um. Just because you father a child and be like, well, I pay child support. You know, I pay all my, I'm caught up to my child support. And yada, yada. that's not being a dad, man. You're missing out on quality time. Big time. But hey, I'm not here to judge anyone. Hey, you do what you do. Hey, if you feel that your uh, baby mama was a toxica, hey, you know what? Hey, I can't help you out there, buddy. You know, women too, you should have chosen better. But hey, you know what? Sometimes, hey. It's just the heat of the moment, right? Or whatever it may be that you didn't, you know, that we tend to overlook sometimes. But anyway, guys, I don't mean to try to get humorous there or offensive. But, um, yeah, man, there, there, there's, you know, um, there's a lot of good people in the world, male and female, you know. And there's men out there that, that, that do want to make it work for the sake of, of, of keeping their family or whatever. And again, not being perfect, but yet give those men credit. Give those men credit for wanting to make it work. Are we perfect? No, we are not, ladies. We are not perfect at all. Nor are, are, are females, you know what I mean, for that matter. But at the end of the day, when you try to make it work or people say, well, don't stay in a relationship just for the kids, that's not healthy. Okay, granted, I, I can see that in a sense because you do hurt, hurt the children more in, in that sense, especially if there's a constant arguing and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, too, though, say, for example, we're in a relationship and I and we we can't think selfish no more talking about, well, wait a minute, I got, you know what, I got to go after, you know, my life. I got to think about what I'm going to do. Well, check this out, man. You've already invested into having the child. It's no longer about you anymore. First priority is first priority is your children, not your life that you plan to start. 
at, 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 once you have children and stuff and you're playing, now you want to, you know, go back and restart your life or, or jump into it and be like, hey, wait a minute, I got I to gotta go after, you know, I got I to gotta do, you know, I got to do me now. Uh, no, because men and women are guilty of that, right? We're guilty of that. Everybody's guilty of that in, in that sense all the way around, right? But if I tell you, hey, I've been happily married for X amount of years. That means we're not happy-go-lucky and everything's great. That just means that I put up with her stuff as much as she puts up with mine. Now, we're talking heterosexual family here. Like, you know, he and her, he, you know, her and I. That's what I'm talking about, right? The rest, I'm not, I don't care about the rest. The, the rest is... It is what it is. Father's Day is Father's Day, guys. Um, I don't think anybody should come out of anywhere, regardless of whether you like your brother-in-law, you like your sister-in-law, you know, whatever, or you hate them, for that matter. Um, I think it's pretty unfair for you to butt your nose into something that's really none of your business at the end of the day. Uh, okay, blood sticking in the water and you're going to stand up for your siblings. Okay, cool. But at the end of the day, so, sometimes <clears throat> sometimes they run back. Okay. And you got to keep, you know what I mean? And then you look like the bad guy. You know, but at the end of the day, you can't condemn a male or female for trying. Okay. And you can't you can't be doing that to them, especially when they helped you out at your worst. Okay. With that being said, guys, this is Two Face Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Fred Segura, signing out.